How are you Hello. doing? How are you? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very good. Thanks for being back. You know hey. what? I, one of the things I like about you, you're a very talented guy, but you do these impressions that are quite specific. <laughs> You're not doing the impressions everybody else is doing. Right. And this guy, uh, Keith Morrison, uh, uh, from Dateline, from Dateline yeah. who actually, uh, who, who works here, that's an impression that you don't see all the time. He works in the building. He you, works in 30 Rock? Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny, you've picked up on something with him. Yeah, well, I'm a huge fan of his. Uh, my wife and I watch, like, you know, Dateline and... Uh, 48 Hours, all those terrible murder shows. I love those shows, yeah. 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 <laughs> but I love him because he just takes so much pleasure in talking about the worst stuff ever. And you know, he like clearly knows the answer to all these questions, but he's always, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 what did they find in the trunk of that car? <laughs> and the one would be like, uh, it was my boyfriend. Was he all right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he knows the answer yeah. to that. He's like, no. <laughs> he's like, the only the only reason you're he here is because he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. He was murdered. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he, his voice is so soothing. Bill Curtis is the same thing. Oh, the I guy, love Bill Curtis. Oh yeah, yeah. American Justice, Cold yeah. Case Files. Oh man, my wife and I just, you know, he's always, you know, all those guys, you know, you know, it's like they found the female jogger's head in a box, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> it just puts us right to bed what for some reason. <laughs> what a soothing voice. It's it's funny. It's a soothing voice saying the worst the things worst ever. The worst stuff ever. That's the best. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now uh, you also uh, in in the movie Knocked Up. Yeah. You you did a very funny thing. You did a a an impression during in the movie. You're playing oh, a guy right. who's like a, an editor, videotape right, editor, right. and you did an impression in the movie of Jabba the Hutt dying. Yeah. Which is another very specific impression I've never heard before. Right. Yeah, it's the most worthless impression. Yeah. Ever. Well, that, uh, then you're yeah, on the yeah, right yeah, show. Yeah. On the right yeah, show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that on Conan. Yeah. Uh, no, um, yeah, it was uh, Jabba the Hutt died. Yeah, he was like, uh, oh, 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 Bisa Kubata. Bisa Tuba. <laughs> 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 there you go. That's, uh, that's pretty not <laughs> That was very good. Oh, man. My science teacher could see you guys right now. It's yeah. Like, oh, no. Hey, You'll never get anywhere doing this, Hater. <laughs> hater, uh, you'll go nowhere with this. Uh, <laughs> do you, and, and you do, uh, you also do, uh, one time on the show you did a, something called a... A Tauntaun. A Tauntaun. <laughs> yeah, the Tauntaun. The, the, the Tauntaun is a Star Wars, you specialize in Star Wars, the Star Wars impressions. Thing, yes. What the is the Tauntaun again? Oh, uh, the Tauntaun's a thing that, like, they, they ride in Hoth, the land of Hoth, and Empire Strikes Back, and it's like a... <laughs> <laughs> That was a ton. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any any obscure Star Wars impression that you haven't done on this show that you would like to bust out? Is there a uh, Tuscan Raider? Tuscan uh, Raider. What's a ton? <laughs> That's a third of the fans in our audience you just did. Uh, well, I can't believe he did the Tuscan Raider, though. That would have been great. <laughs> well, uh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, he did the correct Tuscan Raider. From, uh, do you... Okay, well, let's let's talk about that. You clearly are an incredible Star Wars yeah, fan. Yeah, huge Star Wars well, fan. Well, let's yeah. talk about how intense a Star Wars fan are you? Well, I went... I will say, I, when they reissued the Star Wars movies, the original movies, like, ten years ago, uh, I took my high school girlfriend and I went to go see the midnight screening, which is like full-on nerd screening uh, of Empire Strikes Back. And as we're walking in, she's like, uh, you know, I've never seen a Star Wars movie before. And I was like, what? <laughs> Are we? We're breaking up, yeah. and, you know, but whatever. Uh, but anyway, so I'm trying I, to... Like, is this the kind of thing where people are there in costumes? People are there in costumes and stuff, and she's telling me this as we're sitting down, so I'm, like, trying to quickly tell her <laughs> the plot to the first movie. I'm like, okay, there's a guy named Luke, and, uh, you know, and, uh, and it's not working. So anyway, the movie starts, we're sitting there watching it, and then Han Solo comes up, and she goes, ah, oh, I didn't know Harrison Ford was in this. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it was like, the nerds were like, intruder alert, who said that? <laughs> what is going on? No. A woman is present. <laughs> woman is present. A breeder uh. is in the building. <laughs> Exterminate, please. <laughs> Lock all portals. <laughs> Lock all portals. Uh, 
<laughs> they lock down the theater. <laughs> yes. They have special steel doors that come down when women are around. Honey, we're dead. Thanks, um, honey. We're dead. No. Uh, okay, I gotta ask you. You just a uh, 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 lot of great. Uh, it's Hugh Laurie this week. Hugh I know. Laurie, from yeah. House, he's one of my favorite actors. Oh, man, I think one of the amazing. best. He's the best actor on television right now. Oh, he's amazing. And, yeah, he's, uh, amazing. he's the hosting Saturday Night Live this week. John Malkovich just did it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as a host, and um, he's been on this show. That is a guy, I, I interview hundreds and hundreds of people. Malkovich stands out, he is quite unusual. <laughs> yeah. What was it, I understand you did Mal I, a Malkovich I, impression to Malkovich? Yeah, I had, to do, <laughs> I had to do a John Malkovich impression to him, uh -huh. which means I had to go and broach that, like, is it okay if I do right, an right. impression of you? And he's like, yeah, no, that's, yeah. And I was right. like, okay. <laughs> and, uh, but the funny thing about John Malkovich is like, he's a huge college basketball fan. I didn't know that. Yeah, and I, I didn't really know. I was like, yeah, do you like basketball? He's like, oh yeah, I think. And he's always like, you know, like drinking, you know, he's like, oh, I, uh, I think Duke is really gonna give North Carolina a run for their money this year. <laughs> <laughs> always, <laughs> I always like yeah, Blake Griffin for OU is averaging 24 points a game, and I do. It's so weird because I he don't take him drinks. Yeah, drink some warm herbal liquid. <laughs> I don't take him for a, a, a sports guy. It'd be funny if you know, like him. Can you imagine him doing like color commentating? You know, the on television. With, like, yeah, a little, with, for the beret, drinking some some herbal tea, doing color yeah. commentating. Yeah, yeah, that'd be funny. It's like, oh, there he goes up again, Blake Griffin with the block. You know, drinking. Like, drink, drink. That's right, uh, John Malkovich, baby. Yeah, Dick Vitale. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> the two of them together. Be the That'll be a good matchup. Uh, we'll start we out live. Start out live this weekend. Host Hugh Laurie and musical guest Kanye West. That's yeah. going to be a great show. It's going to be an awesome show. Bill, always funny oh, stuff. Man, You're thanks, a really buddy. good guy oh, to do thanks, it. Bill, yeah, hey. We'll be right back. Jessica Zor from Gossip Girls here. See you